हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फोर्स डैम 2021 माय नेम इज आशीष चौधरी एंड टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ यू कैन कंटिन्यूराइज योर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन और चावा एप्लीकेशन विद हेल्प ऑफ जिब सो दिस दिस डैम दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज गोइंग टू बी uh mix of uh, very few few slides and then we will mostly will be doing a demo so let's get started then so this is going to be the agenda that we are going to cover today uh so i i will just uh, uh pause here for a moment uh if you want to quickly you know go through the agenda and uh, so i i mean i i have very few i mean very less slides i just wanted to make it you know very hands on and uh, interactive uh, and less boring uh, so this is uh, typically how what we are going to cover in this agenda uh, in this uh, presentation so i will start with uh, myself Uh, i am a software engineer and i work for a financial services company and i currently uh, uh located in pune india and i am at uh, i also write blog about technology am uh, mostly about uh, the things that i you know work on or uh, have some experience wor- working experience or uh, just out of curiosity i try you know uh, uh, any cool or trending things in technology and share my experience with others and uh, i li- i am a, f- a java fan i like uh, anything related to java uh, uh, any framework or tool and uh, i like uh, devops and anything related to cloud and uh, i am very active on social media platform also like twitter and uh, i mostly you know follow people who are passionate about technology and mostly discuss about uh, technology and related stuff here also and uh, i i am a contributor to few of the open source project also and this is my uh, github username and uh, um uh, and you can you can also i forgot to mention my my twitter handle uh, i have also mentioned in there and i i am i write blogs on hashnode and i am also active on uh, uh, professional networking site like you know linkedin okay so enough about myself so what is jib uh, jib is a, as i said earlier it's a, you know it's you can call this as a modern day containerizer for java developers it is uh, this tool is basically uh, developed and maintained by google it's an open source project and uh, it is very you know very uh, more, it has got enough traction on github and enough star and there are you know since this is open source and uh, this is also like widely popular among among the java community itself and uh, containerizing uh, about uh, your application with jib is very easy with jib uh, if because you because uh, java developers typically use uh, you know build tools like maven and gradle and uh, jib jib easily fits into that ecosystem and uh, you just have to add a simple plugin and uh, for your uh, maven or gradle build tool and you will be able to you know with very minimum uh, configuration you you will be able to containerize your java application very quickly and jib basically stands for java image builder and uh, the most important or the or the you know the important thing about jib you need to know is that you don't have to you know you don't need a docker daemon or uh, although it has uh, it has support for that also if you want to containerize your image but the default behavior is you know or the most popular way to containerize people the people mostly like jib is because of the fact that you don't have to maintain you know uh, writing landing docker files or have a docker cli and then you know do, do docker build and then docker push so 
so a java developer don't have to you know uh, spend uh, hours or you know uh, weeks just to learn it uh, new technology like docker even though i'm not against that technology but i'm just saying it's a very quick and easy way to containerize your uh, java application and uh, and i think we all should agree to the fact that uh, not all java developers are container expert and i mean it would be a very wrong expectation you know to set it that uh, java developers are also should know about uh, containerization even though it, it would be a good skill set to have but uh, uh, but it will it uh, so i personally would prefer to know anything you know uh, uh related to new exciting or something cool technology that are coming but it is a personal choice that you want to learn a new technology you know to do your uh work late work related thing or something but uh, uh most people generally who you know only care about writing code and don't you know uh, want to learn an x technology or or uh, because there is a what i'm trying to say there is a learning learning curve involved and uh, and you have to it 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 takes a while you know to get hang of a tool like uh, docker or something even though there are very basic command but you know to get an overview uh, to get an overview of a technology it takes time and uh, and and if you are uh, started your journey with docker or uh, you know already have docker then you might have gone through the same pain uh, learning a new technology it's a journey in itself and uh, when you start building with docker you will so when you you know use a technology or tool the problem of the technology of tool also become the also become your problem i mean your application problem where you, where you are using that technology or tool right so so docker is again you know the standard way of building images till till today but there are many alternatives coming so jib is one of that uh, uh, you know cool alternative which is specially targeted towards java developers and uh, so you don't have to deal with complexities such as you know uh, uh docker file or you know docker installation all those things so jibs abstract away all those complexities for you and you you can focus more on your you know writing code or adding features to your product etc etc so now coming back to our uh, presentation uh, so how you can containerize your application as i said you know it is very easy uh, you it is as easy as adding a pom.xml for your maven uh, in your maven build tool and uh, uh, a plugin in your build.gradle file for your you know uh, gradle projects so this is how i mean typically in java world right if you, you need a support for third party system or something you have a plugin for that so this is how jib works you add the plugin and then you specify very you know some configuration related things with to, you know to get containerize your application with these options are also very minimal to get a basic version of your uh, application as you know as a containerized image so uh, and then again uh, this is your typical jib versus docker build flow so i'm not trying to compare these two technologies my my point is that uh, uh, jib has a very you know straightforward or uh, very less complex or i will say i mean it has it is very easy to uh, containerize your application with the jib rather if you go with docker so again docker has already you know uh, it's widespread into many enterprises and docker is everywhere so you cannot escape from that but uh, again i am not against the technology but i am just trying to highlight how your typical build with uh, 
uh, jib uh, and docker will look like so your jib build is straightforward you have a project you add the plugin and you get your containerized image pushed to a uh, registry of your choice and then with docker build flow you need to have a docker cli docker daemon and uh, then uh, you know you need uh, create the jar and you need to write a docker file so you have to build your jar then the docker file will do its work will, uh, you know to you will provide the instruction to create the image for your application in there and then you will do a you know docker typical docker commands like docker build docker push and then you will push it to a container registry so so we develop containerizing application with jib is very easy and now we will you know do a quick demo so i will head over to my browser so I, in this demo i already have downloaded a basic version of the project i have used spring initializer and it is i think most java developer use this option just to get uh, you know get up and running with uh, spring boot application and uh, this is the proper preferred option and i have used this and uh, my application is a simple spring boot application which you know exposes a simple hello endpoint and print some uh, uh, very basic hello message so i will head over to my id now just to give a overview about the application uh, so this is my spring boot project and uh, the thing to highlight here is that i don't have any docker file over here and uh, it is very easy to you know it's a very minimum setup so there is no docker file involved here and uh, uh, now i will head over to the you know the main part so i have already added the plugin uh, jibmaven plugin i'm just highlighting it and then you know i have specified the version also which version to be used and uh, then you know uh, these are some of the option that i have already added but uh, i i think i should remove this because we will add them later and then i have specified uh, very basic in uh, the so i will try to explain what's going on here in the configuration section so this is a uh, very uh, so this is how you zip give you an option to containerize your application you know uh, you have you specify the from base image uh, from is is how you which base image you will be using your application will be built on top of that and then the two image it, it is the detail of your you know uh, container container registry where you will be i mean the zip plugin will push the final image to and uh, so this is and the so so i am using a uh distroless java 11 image and this the at the rate this part is the image digest part i have already added and uh, so this so that it can use a specific uh, you know uh, image version otherwise it will go and try to you know do a try to connect to the uh, the remote registry and try to you know uh, find out the which uh, image digest to use so i have already specified which image digest to use over here and so this is very basic again uh, one thing to mention over here is that you don't need to specify the from part i mean the base image jib by default uses java 8 distroless images but since i have set up for java 11 and i, I wanted to provide you know uh, give an overview that you can you have the option to choose a base image of your choice so i have used uh, this option and uh, if, even if you don't provide this option by default it takes java 8 so java 8 is again uh, this is sad but it's still the standard we have we are go, now going to be moving to six java, i mean java 16 and 17 but uh, most of the tools and frameworks are still on you know uh, defaults java 8 is still the default version so again that is another thing so coming back to my spring boot application my spring boot application is very basic i am just i have a simple rest controller and one simple hello endpoint and this prints a very basic hello from zip message when this endpoint gets invoked so uh, so I, now i will just head over to my id and you know uh, try to create a containerized image of our application 
so let me just run so this this is how you containerize your application with jib again this option is specific to maven but for gradle this will be a different option uh, but the end goal is same so jib colon build and uh, this will you should containerize our application and so i am just going to start the build now and wait for it to complete and i meanwhile i will try to highlight the parts uh, you know what is it trying to do and all those things okay so this part i need to highlight is the it is using the credentials so the plugin needs to authenticate with my container registry uh, so this set credentials are basically picked up from the uh, maven settings file uh, so i will head back to my browser just to explain this part meanwhile our build is still going on um, so uh, the one thing that i think i forgot to mention is that uh, when you containerize your application you need to provide this although there are this is not a secure way but uh, this is just a demo so you need to uh, in your uh, setting.xml file you need to specify your registry url and then username password that you are going to use for your you know uh, repository and so this needs to be provided before you know you start building your application or run the build so i will now head back to um, uh, my id and uh, so our build is still going on uh, and uh, another thing so we you know we could see some warning so it's 83% uh, completed so initially it will take time because you know it tries to uh, get the base image and all but subsequent builds are much faster so it takes around you know 1 minutes 40 one seconds and uh, so the build is completed and you see and you can see the nice message over here that build and it has pushed the image to my you know uh, docker up container registry and uh, so now i will uh, uh, go back to my browser and uh, you know check the whether the image was pushed or not so i have already these many reposit uh, uh, containers images available and the image name that we have used for our uh, Spring Boot application is uh, we have mentioned in the pom.xml file as I am just trying to highlight that part what was the image name so we have specified this so this is our you know this is going to be our image name so uh, let's you know refresh the browser and see if, uh, if our image was post pushed or not so I will do a quick refresh. So as you can see that our image is available here. It was updated a minute ago. And uh, so it is showing it's a uh, operating system. You know, it's uh, what is used in inside the image and all those things. So so what we have done so i mean just trying to some uh, repeat what we have done so far we have you know uh, we have containerized our spring boot application we had uh, added the maven plugin and we selected the base image then we pushed the image to the container registry and uh, we also i've also explained the authentication part that needs to be added uh, for uh, plug plugin to allow the plugin to you know authenticate with the container registry so now we will try to you know run this application and see if we are getting the expected output or not so i will head over to my terminal mm. uh, i think uh, let me, I think there is uh, some problem with my view. Uh, so uh, give me just uh, one minute. Uh, I will try to, you know, uh, uh, 
so what we will do now we will try to add a plugin and uh, sorry uh, we will try to run the image now so so that uh, we can see the expected uh, output that we uh, the I mean the simple uh, Spring Boot uh, the hello message that we are expecting from our application so uh, I will run a, a simple run command uh, so this will pull our image first and then you know uh, run it so before going with that i let me just show you if there are any images available so i don't have any uh, images available in my uh, local you know local registry uh, the, so i wanted to show you because that uh, the zip plugin has directly posted to the container registry and it has nothing to do with your local registry or you know it is not cached anywhere so now we will do a docker run and uh, run our application so it is not exp it is not able to find the image and now locally so it is trying to pull it from the docker hub registry so i already have my docker setup up and working so now it is it has started extracting the image layers and uh, so let's just wait for this extraction to get completed and then once this uh, you know extraction is completed it will try to run our application so the download looks like it's completed and it has started our spring boot application and we will wait for it to you know get started properly so our spring boot application is started now what i will do so what we have ex so these are the port exposed uh, to my local host uh, i mean in the container inside the container also and in my local host also so we we can do a simple curl you know 8080 slash hello sorry okay so we have got the expected output now this was this is what we have written from our uh, you know uh, uh, the, the, the message that we have written so now what we'll do now I will do a quick change uh, I will just add a simple you know exclamatory marks and change the message a little bit and we will again build our application and push it so earlier if you could see uh, there was one warning coming that uh, main class is not specified so this plugin was complaining about that so that is not an issue we can add the you know main class over here so in the so container more in the container you can specify you know uh, many things so it gives you many option to you know uh, tweak things or make things work according to your uh, use case so i am just adding the main class so that warning goes away even though that warning is you know it's not going to be a uh, breaking change for us but uh, just wanted to add that warning so what was the package name chips okay so it is in the spring inside spring not spring boot um, so I have then okay so I have added the main class so that warning also should now go away so now you know I will sorry so now I will try to run the build again and uh, we will run the same option that we have used earlier chip colon build so this time it should not take you know uh, 
uh, it should be done quickly since we have done changes in the uh, our source code only one class we have changed so so if you see one thing that i wanted to highlight over here is that if you see this part right so this is how your directory structure or you know image layering inside your container image will be so your layering is divided into three part your resources uh, your uh, uh, properties file in your resources and then your compiled classes and then your library dependency required to run your application so the i mean the important the thing I'm trying to you know uh, highlight over here is that so if you do a change only in your class file that only that parts get pushed and the same thing is only going to be pulled because that it it is it will not build the whole application you know again so it has a good it has a nice uh, caching mechanism uh, and uh, so it which you know it makes it very fast so now again what we'll do we will head back to our terminal uh, so now what what i will do is you know uh, i will uh, run the application again so first i will uh, stop this container and uh, so now i will do a docker pull so i just add them very lazy you know so i am just copying the command but uh, okay so as i said and yet so only the rest of the layering there was no change done so it is saying already exist and only since this image was layer was changed affected only that part was pulled same is the thing when you build you push to a container registry you only push the chip part which was changed so that's what makes it you know very fast so now i will just simply you know uh, run uh, our application ame uh, uh, i mean i mean we will initialize uh, uh, run our docker container again and uh, we'll see if we are getting the uh, uh, the chained output or not so our spring boot application has started now we'll again do the curl so okay so it's good we are getting the chained message now and uh, this is uh, the expected behavior and uh, one more thing uh, you can actually if you want to visualize uh, how the image layering is done you can take help of uh, tool called as dive so dive you know allows you to sorry i think i need to mention the image id here it allows you to give gives you a nice overview inside of your image right so you can uh, you know browse i mean you can see the actual content of your uh, content inside your image and it it is a nice handy tool it also explains you about uh, if there is any you know space issue or if you are wasting any space or not so as you can see right uh, rest these things are related to your uh, base image and uh, the rest of this jib maven plugins are related to jib uh, the layering that jib has done so these are your you know app slips is your all as you can see on the right hand side in the green all your dependencies and then you have your classes uh, sorry the resources at the bottom in the right and then you have your uh, classes uh, compiled classes we have only two classes uh, so that's what it is showing also again if you see on the uh, image detail section on the left hand side yeah you know there is no potential wasted space yeah so which is good right total image size again it is 200 mb for a simple spring boot application but uh, uh, you you have the option to use a uh, different base image which you think you know will be can do the job for your application and uh, the size is uh, as per your expectation but what doc uh, uh, the jib uh, plugin provides the default it uses a distroless image uh, which is you know uh, 
again it is uh, uh, slimmer than the uh, normal you know the base images typically we use which linux distribution images that we use like alpine or something because uh, they include you know package managers like shell or uh, gives you an option to you know you can do uh, do an ssh or uh, install packages inside your container so that uh, so zip doesn't uh, support that i mean it, you can use the image of your choice but uh, by default it provides you uh, images which are you know secure because storage images are secure as they don't provide any package managers in in within so there is less attack surface and you know you your application is much secure that way and they have uh, these images distorless images have very less uh, vulnerabilities with them so i uh, i actually wanted to cover more things but uh, I think the time I am running out of time so I will just you know uh, uh, head back to the slide section uh, uh, so our demo is completed and uh, we can now do a quick Q&A uh, if there is any feedback or questions we can discuss it further again thank you thank you Fuji and uh, uh, the team uh, for giving me this opportunity you know to uh, 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 put forward my thought process on things uh, on this topic so again thanks a lot to Fuji and folks at Fuji and Fosdom thank you